Kennedy is recognized for one minute. Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise today to call on Congress to rule out an end-of-the-year lame duck end-run vote on the Trans-Pacific Partnership. No other time in the Congress is less accountable to the people who entrust us to represent their interests than the period between election and the swearing-in of a new Congress in January. That's why it's called lame duck. Retiring members or those who lost elections still have a say. And whose interests are they more likely to represent? Sometimes corporate interests weigh in with tantalizing offers of high dollar remuneration on their retirement. Or for those fresh off an election, a lame duck can present pressures from donors who funded their campaigns. In 2000, I watched this scenario play out to pass when uh, the permanent normal trade relations with China unfortunately passed. For China's PNTR vote, look at Texas. The president secured at least five member votes by promising an environmental cleanup of a military factory, a study on job losses due to imports, and finalized an EPA study for a pipeline. And what happened to those promises? Nothing. In fact, the factory closed with the district losing 5,000 jobs. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, we've been told time and again that free trade Finally, deals create expired. jobs, but they outsource our jobs instead. Americans deserve a vote from accountable elected representatives. No lame duck TPP vote. I yield back my remaining time.